Hi there, it's Moira McDonald. I have, bear with me while I try to zoom in a wee bit, um, I've got a wee micro mini junk journal that was a custom order um, and it's going to be my last journal for sure for a wee while. Um, I've shut the dogs out so we shouldn't have any barking. Um, of course my neighbour's in the back garden, Lord knows what kind of noises he's going to make but in theory we should get through this. So. If you can bear with me, I'll introduce my wee book to you. It is, in terms of size, the cover is 3.5 by uh, just under 3. It is um, just cardstock that's been embossed. There's one wee signature and it is closed using some white seam binding. And what I've done is I've put a little eyelet or whatever they're called at the front and one that matches at the back um, we've got a picture of a pretty wee girl and she's layered up on some pink card I've got one of those little puff flowers with a wee kind of lace bit sticking out at the bottom there I was going to have lace the whole way around but I realised it was going to cover her face because the cover's so small um, and we've got a wee vintage button uh, so that's one vintage button used Right, in fact I think that's the only vintage button I've used in this book. Now, uh, when we open the front, what we have is, um, this is held down here, the seam mounting, and I've used a vintage button there just to hold it in place. The first page here is um, a digital image that I've created myself using, my, my brief was to base it on a, a, a micro mini junk journal that I'd done back in August last year. So it's quite similar but different because I don't make two things the same. Um, this paper has been layered up using uh, another piece of paper that I've embossed and it's sewn with a little a tag in it and it's Chunky Monkey. It is actually quite a Chunky Monkey wee book. Hold on because I can't see very clearly looking through the camera here. Uh, it is a Chunky Monkey of a wee book um, but it's very difficult to do a micro mini without making it a Chunky Monkey. Right so we've got a wee bit of lace here. As I've said we've got a wee bit of stencil in. Scrapbooking paper here. Uh, some more stenciling. Here is just a wee sticker and I think it's actually, as well as being an embossed sticker, it's glittered up a wee bit. Um, we've got some stamping up there in the corner. Over the page we've got a proper wee tuck spot and in the tuck spot we have uh, a wee stamped tag with an old fashioned telephone that you can uh, write on the back of and a wee image that's layered up on, oh no in fact it's not layered up but what I did was some pink stenciling uh, on the back using a Tim Holtz stencil and it's, the ink is worn lipstick. On this page we have, wait a minute, it's very difficult to see through the camera so I'm better doing it without looking through the camera. Um, we've got a bit of Edith Holden and I've cut it in such a way that we've got an image on either side. Uh, we bird there and uh, just some leaves and berries on that side. Digital image of my own again here. Bring it in so you can see it a wee bit. And it's got uh, a pocket this time on the side. And in the pocket we have a wee itty bitty uh, library card that I did myself digitally. On this we've got some more stenciling here and just stamping here. The stamping that I've done on this and the stenciling looks quite random and that was intentional because again, oh god you wouldn't believe it would you, he's stamping his motorbike next door. I don't know if you can hear it but you will. If you don't hear it just now, you will. Sorry about that, it's so typical isn't it? I, honestly I can't do anything without somebody making a noise round about me. Right anyway, back onto the book. Here we've got a wee bit of fancy washi paper that uh, looks like some written text. I thought that looked quite nice. We've got a nitty bitty uh, 
I don't know if you can hear Daisy barking because she really doesn't like the motorbike. Um, an itty bitty uh, doily here. Another piece of scrapbooking paper. And we've got some lace down the edge of that page. Some stencil in there. And some stamping on that one. The pages have all been edged with worn lipstick because I was trying to keep it kind of pinkish and a uh, what do you call it, you know, kind of vintagey and shabby chic -y and whatever. And I know the lady likes pink, so I went with a worn lipstick. Some stamping, a uh, bit of music paper. Uh, some more random stamping on this page. A uh, wee tiny, tiny scrap. It's a wee vintage scrap that I picked up at the weekend when I, I went to a car boot sale and I managed to get some scraps and uh, some lace from, well no lace, but a, a kind of fancy doily for a lady and some wee doilies that were like kind of like handkerchiefs, but they were, they're were clearly doilies because they're tiny. Uh, unless they're for some miniature person that needs a handkerchief. Um, scrapbooking paper there. It's another one of my digital images here. It's just a pity that it's, it is a micro mini because you can't really see them that well. Um, but obviously the lady that will get them will be able to see it. There's, there's text being put in here in white as well as the sort of shabby chic pink images. This pocket is sewn at the side and bottom and in it we have a uh, kind of oval tag of a uh, flower. In fact, I think I've got it upside down. There we go. And one of my wee digital postcards. And it's been backed with coffee stain paper to sew in. My sewing isn't very good. Uh, I will warn you up front, the lady that's getting the book. Um, I'm, not, I'm not great with doing it straight, but I make the best that I can of it, believe you me. Right, and I'll close that in there again. Uh, oh, this is the centre of the signature, by the way. There is some stamping below this piece of uh, washi. Again, it's the text washi. Here I've got some pretty te uh, floral text. Floral text? Floral images with text. Again, it's an alternative uh, washi tape. I don't know if I've got anything in this in pocket. I might not have. Oh, no, there is something. There is a wee, ta a wee kind of ticket. Again, it's one of my digital images. Um, not for sale in my shop. Uh, only because I've never really had occasion. I could make a lot of tags, a lot of tickets, I suppose, at some point. I might do something like that while I'm taking the time off to making the journals. We'll see. Um, digital image of my own again. Uh, some stenciling. That's another one of the stickers, and I think it's kind of glittered. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That is glittered. Um, and some stamping. Another sheet of music paper. Well, I think it's the same as the other side of that. A wee scrap of a wee girl this time, with the lace down that edge. Some stamping, stenciling, different lace. I haven't used the same lace throughout the book, by the way. It's different laces. Um, if I've used a lace on one sh uh, one side, the other side of the book will have the same lace. But other than that, I think I used four different laces. And here we've got a pocket, and I put in this. <laughs> this was just a bit of fun, right? That's Harry the Hairy Haggis. Since I'm Scottish, I thought I would include him. Um, he may start appearing regularly, I don't know. And uh, just another wee floral image and some coffee guide square paper on the back if you want to journal on that. And some stamping. Plenty of room for journaling if you write very small, obviously, because micro minis aren't this. My other neighbour empty in their bin. Um, another wee library card, it's an image of a girl sitting at a desk, writing, and just a flower on top. Uh, 
when I made digitals, that's the other bit that you did hold them and buff again and another piece of the floral washi with the, the words uh, this is tryst a tryst is a planned meeting or hold on a minute assignation especially between lovers to meet at a specific place and time oh oh imagine seeing lovers in a book oh, oh. Uh, stamp in there and one of my tags um, follow your bliss. I don't know who Joseph Campbell is, but presumably he was somebody quite famous. And another one of my um, postcard images. So follow your bliss is coming out again. There you go. Um, it's been sewn and stenciled at the back. I mean, you can still, even although it's stenciled using the warm lipstick, you can still write on it without any difficulty. And scrapbook and paper, stenciling, oh, the stuff's falling out the bottom. And oh, there's a wee pocket here, wait a minute, I'll just take them out and we'll check what's in the pocket. And it's another wee digital image I've done with some stenciling on the back. And that fits in that wee pocket there. It's a bit tight in that pocket, by the way, I think it's just a wee bit too big. Um, in terms of little extras, there is a little It's Your Story that can be added on. Um, and I've stamped some of these wee banners using the same paper as has been used in the pages because I just thought it might be quite useful if you were doing a story and you wanted a wee headline for it. Although you might need to put them in the book that way around because I think they'll be too big for the page that way. And a wee stamped tag. Well, not stamped, it's um, scrapbook and paper. And that will just be sitting in the back. The back, again, the tape, the, um, what do you call it? Seam bindings held down and there's a wee vintage button. And there's lace at the front and back of the book, same lace. Which folds over nicely like that to allow you to tie it. So, there's the book. Um, I'm going to fumble away with this now. Bear with me just a second. Um, I, it's a custom order as I've said I really um, enjoyed doing this I think it was nice to go back to doing something that wasn't outrageously elaborate because um, obviously I didn't do any collages or anything like that and I'm very guilty uh, and the ones that we've done recently are doing a ton of collaging and stamping and things whereas this has been just nice wee stamping some nice washi and some stenciling and I really enjoyed it. So um, that's my book. Hope you all like it. Hope, certainly hope the lady likes it. If she doesn't, it'll be for sale. Um, so just keep a wee eye open on my shop. It's Bygones Era um, on Etsy because I've changed the name. Um, if you need comments, as usual, give me a wee shout because you know I like to read your comments and I love the wee bit of interaction. So thanks very much for your time today and I shall see you all uh, in the not too distant future. Husband's on holiday for the next couple of weeks after this um, so chances are I won't be doing an awful lot during that time because you know what it's like when men are in the house, they just go under your feet. Um, but you know, we'll see, we'll see how things pan out. So thanks very much for your time, bye bye and I shall see you soon. Bye!